the way that they have that character play is very much how I feel. Like I really like people and I like try to make everyone happy and like I'm a deep feeler. So I really connected with the idea of like bringing everyone together and like stopping a war. I think a lot of modern shooters, I love them, but they're very, they're so concerned with signposting where you are and what you should be feeling and what should be going on and what submissions you've got and where the collectibles are. It's very difficult to maintain that kind of tension in a kind of Ubi map. It makes a lot of sense where if such a catastrophe happened, like people would question their faith, for example, and also like people would question the faith and they would question their leaders and everyone would kind of want to start on a new leaf, but because we're all human, it's hard to let go of our past, so we get so embroil embroiled in that that it ends up just sort of like becoming this huge political drama. This game is encouraging me to participate in the end boss sequence in a way that I've never seen before. Like, I feel like it's much more of an interactive experience, and that was a brave design decision, which puts a lot of trust in the player and I felt more powerful for that experience. It felt like just unbelievable. Oh my God, I can't believe this is, you can actually do this. You can use this controller in my house to control these cartoons on the screen. And uh, yeah, it just uh, is really formative experience, I think. I don't know if I would have known to pick it up based off the fact if it would have just been Virtua Fighter RPG. I suppose if it had the name on it, like Virtua Fighter, I would be like, oh cool, I'll give this a go. Because I mean, I still picked up Virtua Fighter kids with their big heads and Mega Mix and fighting vipers, but then that was just off the same kind of franchises. These, you know, that offer this this window into a place that that where where you know the imagination was was realized and had a sort of landscape and you could navigate it uh, cogently and and so the the reader in me appreciated the the sort of story that was being told. It's it's amazing and frustrating on both ends because it's amazing because you'll see you'll see people who haven't thought about level design before like make something very quick and be like oh wow I can make a thing that's great and then they go and make something that they actually want to be polished and go wow this is really a lot harder than I thought it would be for something that's basically just drawing blocks. It's my favorite game not just because it, it was uh, legitimate legitimately awesome. It's my favorite game because. I can't think of another game that had more design lessons kind of built into it that came all at once. The real litmus test for me was that during playing that game, I loved it, thought about it all the time when I wasn't playing it. Um, and so that, to me, says it's a perfect game. Yeah, my general impression of this game was it was awesome and I'd love to play more of them. And it got me into that series. My favorite game. 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 My favorite game is 